Hello again guys, some of you asked me to show my process of how I texture my models inside Blender 2.8, uh, in this case inside Eve. And the process is very straightforward and I will show you every step that I take, okay? So we now are inside Eve in the rendered mode. Okay, this one that you see here is the base model. Over this model, I projected my eye poly mesh model. Okay, so I have extracted the normal mapping first, then occlusion mapping and other base maps that uh, you can use inside of a software like uh, Substance Painter or Substance Designer. In my case was Substance Painter but you can also do your materials inside Blender. Inside my first texture, I have put my diffuse map and my ambient occlusion map. As you know, the image textures or images in general have more than one channel inside. And there is also the alpha channel. Usually we, we use the alpha channel for uh, making transparency effects okay or mas masking effects but you can also put a grayscale image like the one of an ambient occlusion in my case so we have four maps inside one image this is called texture packing this is pretty useful when you are doing something like exporting a roughness map a metalness map and a an height map inside a single image. It is very useful because you are going to uh, reserve uh, some space uh, inside the folder mm, because uh, otherwise you are going to end up with a lot of textures just for one model and uh, it is not very uh, ordered fashion of working, okay? So the texture packing is uh, fundamental for this kind of things. Okay, so first thing that we can do is uh, check our maps. For this purpose, I will just create a new shader inside my node editor. And I will just check my images connecting the first output to the color and the emission to the material output. So we can clearly see what the texture is doing to the model, okay? This is just a diffuse channel, so just color map. Then, as I said before, in the alpha channel, we have the ambient occlusion of the model, which look like this. Then we have a roughness, metalness inside this single texture okay for to use that single channels we have to drive the color map inside a separate rgb node so that we can use the single channels so i have the red channel that showed me my right my uh, roughness map which is this and then in the blue channel I have my subsurface mask, also the normal map. Okay, let's move this node right here and we can hook up the color of the normal map, which is this. Okay, you never use the normal map directly and put it inside the normal pin here in the principal shader. You have to pass it before inside a normal map node. This node will uh, modify the normal map and make it usable inside Blender, okay? And this is the result. Now let's start. As we said, this is our base model. We start to hooking up our normal channel inside the normal map the details appearing inside our model okay 
then we need to hook up our color channel inside our base color this is going to be the result then we have our subsurface mask then you have to consider something else when you use the subsurface channel inside your principal BSDF you have to activate it also inside the settings of the rendering viewport okay if you scroll down you can find the subsurface scattering you just need to activate it and Blender is going to uh, recalculate all the textures okay for the material so we are just going to try to input that texture perfect now the subsurface is masked using that mask that I have shown you before okay which is this kind of mask then we are going to apply our roughness mapping directly inside the roughness pin and as you can see the reflections appear and then we just need to hook up the metalness which is these to our metallic pin and the metal is looking pretty good okay and finally we are just going to apply some effects inside the rendering viewport first thing screen space reflections okay then ambient occlusion I have set the distance factor to 2 and the power of the ambient occlusion to 1 then the last thing that I will apply is it is a depth of field from a depth of field effect and this is the arm textured and finished this monster has uh, the the old shader setup okay which which i made uh, following a blender guru tutorial uh, before the principled shader bsdf was really existing so now we can make all that custom stuff just using the principled bsdf and the result is just going to be pretty cool okay now as you can see i have also positioned some lights in a strategic way so if i if you let me press alt h all the other models inside my rendered scene are going to appear and i will show you how i set up my lights i have a point light in the front of the model which is projecting a red light which is giving me this pretty cool effect if we go and edit the light you can see that this is contributing a lot to the final effect of the scene a red light also gives the scene more life this is a this is a darkness fan art that I made I have painted all the details inside ZBrush Core and if you just take a look at the folder you can see that I have all sort of OBJ models this is because there are low poly versions of say the harm for example and high poly meshes that I have used to project the high details using a normal map over the base mesh okay there is low and high poly meshes versions or of everything inside my models and this is the final effect I have also added a front light 
which is giving a blue shine over the front faces of the model and I have a backwards light which is giving the subsurface scattering a boost and also don't forget to add an HDRI image in my case I am using a sky texture okay I am not using now a HDRI image but it's pretty cool for uh, this kind of rendering inside uh, EVE uh, for testing purposes okay if you want to go really in detail you have to use an HDRI image you can do it yourself uh, and that's all guys if you need more information let me know ask me questions if you like the way if you like what I do hit that button if you dislike it let me know in the comments and subscribe because you're helping me a lot so I can continue to make these cool tutorials okay guys see you in the next tutorials